Hey, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood Expansion. I am running fates, or running this one fate, so that I can reach level 70. I decided to start recording so that I would get the momentous event of reaching level 70 on video. I'm out here in the uh, the locks running this okay golem fate I have three minutes left on running this fate all by myself so this should be the last little smidgen I need to get to 70. So I did, um, I did run the dungeon, Castrum Abania dungeon, again. That got me most of the experience I needed. I flew around in the peaks and unlocked all the areas there, which you get a surprising amount of experience just for unlocking zones. Is that it? That's it? Yes! That's it! Level 70! Yay! Level 70! Da 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 da! We've done it! You can now accept the next class job quest! Oh, I forgot to do the level 68 bard quest. I need to go back there and do that. I'll do the level 68 and 70 bard quests before I leave this video series just because you know what maybe I should go back and do those now maybe I will do that now in fact let's just go do it uh Castrum Orions let's go do that right now it won't take very long I th it doesn't look like the bard quests are really uh, so far, they haven't even unlocked anything. They're just, like, story. There's no... There's no functional component to it. I mean, there's no practical component to it. Sanson! Sleeping truths lie. Sanson is on the verge of making a decision on the tome. Oh, I should have run a couple of these to get my experience. Oh, well. This will be 232,200 experience points wasted. Eh, uh, no matter. The instant we hand Gilbardi's journal to the headquarters, the truth of Vainchalon's death is all but guaranteed to, to be struck from history. I've thought long and hard on a course, course of action, what we should do with the tome, and I believe I'm drawing close to the answer. Before I make my decision, however, I would ask your honest opinion. Do you think the sordid truth of the Autumn War should be made public? Even should it jeopardize our relations with Alamigo? Yeah, let's ascertain its credibility. That's exactly what I would say, actually. Meow, 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 meow. Verily, a sound choice demands a sound grasp of the situation. As ever, you are an island of calm reason amidst a sea of chaos. That's me. Thank you, Dia. As the leader of our unit, I am now ready to make my decision. Let us find Gidelot. He will wish to hear it, too. So, yeah, as I recall, we found this book that, like... I don't remember exactly what this book does, but it it's some juicy dirt. How do I get... Where is Gidelot? There he is. When the both of you are ready, I will announce my decision. Gidelot. How have you been, Gidelot? So, you've made up your mind, then? About what to do with the truth? I have. I shall go to the Adder's Nest and entrust the journal to our superior's care. Above all, we cannot allow it to be used as an instrument of hatred. Having said that, 
neither will I stand for the truth to be erased. I will oppose any attempt to do so with, with all my being. Huh? Er, uh, I'm not sure I understand. What do you want to do exactly? I will hand over the journal on the condition that the truth be revealed one day, when the people are ready to accept it. Call me indecisive, but I cannot bear to see the tome misused, nor the truth willfully buried. Well, eh. well, well, look at you, Sanson the Stiff, standing his ground. Goes without saying, but I'm with you, Chief. Ain't no one gonna exploit our or erase history on my watch. Yeah, huh. Thank you, my friends, for trusting in me. Don't let it go to your head, though, eh? Had your decision not been to my liking, I would have knocked you flat on your ass and resigned from your swiven unit. Swiven unit, I think is... Swiving is how it's pronounced. So much for you decide. Huh. Never change, Geetalot. Okay. Let's all smile at each other. Captain Sanson, right? Some fellow asked me to pass this letter to you. Huh? Hand it over forthwith. Let's see. Th th this is from Norval. Oh! Huh? The journal is yours to do with as you wish, but ere you take it away, I would speak with Tia, and Tia alone, one last time. I await you in Dim World, by the Percipient One. Oh, it's Dim World. I thought it was Dim World. Oh, this reeks. Tell me it don't. But if this is a trap, why would Norval ask for the strongest of all of us? He may truly have something important to say. Conversely, it would also offer us a chance to convey our intent. I am loath to expose you to danger, my friend, but will you go to this meeting? I don't like the idea of you going alone, but that'd defeat the purpose of the meeting. At the first sign of danger, though, get out of there fast, alright? Okay. Oy, oy, oy. This may be our last chance to speak with Norval. Please go to Dimwold and see what he has to say. First sign of trouble, you beat a retreat, all right? Will do. I know precisely where this Dimwold place is. It's down here amongst the werewolves. I must confess that I did actually have a small nap earlier. Feeling a bit stuffy. Alright, here we are. At our destination, here in Dimwold. This is a neat looking area, actually. It's got the mist and the trees and the stuff as that. Stuff as that and all. Oh my lord. A hostile presence. It's a trap. Well, I promised Gidalot I would be the hasty retreat, but screw that. Instead, I will simply kill all of my foes. Just 
take that. Now I gotta go all the way back up here. I should have gotten a drink of water before I started recording. Instead, I just have the dregs of what I had earlier. Keedalot, you are never going to believe what happened to me. Oh, you're back. But where's Sanson? Another letter arrived right after you left. Ask for him to come as well. You're really alone, then? Mm-hmm. Swive me! You were just a diversion. Sanson was their real target. I thought it'd be all right, seeing as you'd be there, but I should have gone as well. God strike me down for a fool! If you didn't see Sanson, they must have nabbed him on the way to Dimwald. Come on, we have to find him. Okay. Guess we're flying down there again. Flying back and forth like a yo-yo. Good thing I have flying unlocked. Yeah, so uh, this is the uh, the Sunday of the Game of Thrones premiere. So I will definitely be stopping. Okay, I'm going to kill this grizzly because I just know he's going to come over here and aggro. I will definitely be stopping before 9 o'clock. And you better believe I'm going to be watching it, because Game of Thrones is a show that you simply cannot trust the internet not to spoil everything for you if you don't watch it live. Sanson's book was lying here. They left a message in blood, the gods damn mamas. We have your friend. We will send our price to the Adder's Nest. That old son can take his ransom and shove it up his ass. We're gonna storm their hideout, tear him all new ones, and free Sanson. Uh, we don't exactly know where they are. Meow, 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 meow. Damn it, Tia, how can you always be so calm? It's downright contagious. And you're right, of course, we don't even know where the bastard's taken Sanson. We need help if we're gonna save him. Come on, let's hurry back to Gridania, to the Outer's Nest. Hey, while I'm there... I can stop in and check on my squads. <laughs> I'm trying to get in the habit of sending out my squads every day. I don't know why, I still, to this day, I still don't know what you get out of building up a squad. Oops, can't use the peeps here. Where am I? I, can't, I always get confused when I come to Gridania. I always get all turned around and don't know which way to go. There's Gidalot. Alright, hold on, Gidalot. I'm going to stop in the barracks and see what's what. Alright, is my squad back? Squadron has returned! Yay, we're up to level 12! Oh no, it ended in failure! What? You guys suck. You guys are the worst squad ever. Do I have to do a level 1 quest for you? 5,000 experience. How can you screw up a level 5 quest when you guys are level 12? How can you do it? Oh, required attributes. 
Oh, I see. Maybe I should stick below the required attributes level. <laughs> I get it now. I should look at these right here. Okay, well, apparently the uh, military courier is the only one that we can actually do successfully. Maybe, wait, let, let me do some training. I think I need training. Training courses, let's try this. Uh, let's see. Daily training sessions, we can do three of these. Let's do... What is that third one? I don't know. Comprehensive one? Alright, let's do physical and mental. Go! How long does that take? Oh, that, just, that only takes an hour. Okay, cool. Again, I don't know why I'm doing that. Just because it's there, that's why I'm doing it. Alright, Gidalot. I've just reported the situation. They're gonna call a meeting to talk strategy. As far as Gilbardi's journal, I'm still holding on to it. Tell them it's for the chief to hand over. They were none too pleased. Fancy that. You see, unlike our friend Sanson, I don't have much faith in the order. Don't trust him to act in our best interest. The journal's our bargaining chip. Not only with them, but Norval besides. Would be good to bring old Jehentil into it as well. He'd want to know, and might even have some sage advice to share. But for now, we sit tight. Wait and see what the Order and Norval will do. And then we plan some doings of our own. Till then, rest up and save your strength, Tia. We're gonna need it. Well, I don't have to rest up. Because... I'm already level 70. I can continue immediately. Sweet dreams are made of peace. <laughs> Keyed a lot. Oh, okay. So we are going to get a skill here. Delivers an, atta an attack with a potency of 300. Can only be executed while under the effect of straighter shot. Okay. Keyed a lot is keenly waiting to see how the order of the twin adder will move. Good timing, Tia. Norval's demands just arrived at the Adder's Nest. In exchange for Sanson's freedom, we are to release the contents of Gilbardi's journal to the public. Bastard won't be satisfied until all Gredanians hate all Alamegan's guts. The Brass Hats are deliberating a course of action as we speak. Not much we can do now, but wait. And go to a cutscene. Command has made its decision. You will not wish to hear this, but the Order rejects Norval's demands. He and his band are to be summarily eliminated. What? Hold on there, just a second. You won't even try to negotiate Sanson's release? As a nation, we cannot bow to acts of intimidation. I'm afraid negotiation was never an option, and here I must repeat the Order for you to relinquish the journal at once. So what you're saying is, you're abandoning Sanson. You're just gonna let him die. Here's the great Vainchelon, hero to all Gredanians. But you won't even lend an ear to his descendant. Oh no, instead you choose the easy way out. Just kill everyone, even your own man. Wash away the bloody past with more blood. Just to be clear, I ain't siding with Norval. There's no excusing his method. But there's no excusing yours either. It's bullshite is what it is. Oh. I've lost faith in the order. Mir, 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 mir. Now, now, pray do not be so quick to despair, for I was simply relaying the outcome of a command's deliberation, a deliberation in which the Elder Seed Seer has no part. Oh, why is that? As you say, Gidalot, the orders are bullshite. Not the words I would have chosen, but you speak the truth nonetheless, and I, for one, have no intention of abiding by them. Yeah? What? Okay. The decision was largely influenced by a small handful of our leadership, and not the boldest handful, I may add. Tis plain from the fact that they did not think to bring the matter before the Elder Seed Seer. Well, she is busy out in uh, 
the locks. Captain Smythe is a dear comrade. Like you, I would spare no aid in any effort to rescue him, and I am pleased to say that we are not alone in this sentiment. As a matter of fact, I have already reached out to my lancer and archer acquaintances, acquaintances, and they stand ready to aid our cause. Oh, now we're talking. There's still hope for the order, if it has good blokes like you, Vorsi. I would thank you not to call me that. Now the order will move as soon as they ascertain the enemy's location, so time is of the essence. Kidalot, pray take word of these developments to Jehentil. All right. I'm right on it, jolly so good, sir. Meanwhile, Lieutenant Bilobo, I need you to bear word to the two guildmasters, Lucien and E. Wayne. Uh, leave it to me. I'll do it. Tell them that the time is nigh, and pray return here swiftly. Okay. The time is nigh. Where am I going now? Whoa, way out there to the Lancer's barracks. Good lord. It's a gajillion miles away. remember this place. I remember leveling up. Oh, so many years ago, my dragoon. Ewain, Guildmaster. I, Vorsil, Vorsili has briefed me on the situation. Sanson once trained in these very halls, and I should like to hear his excuse for being captured so easily. At any rate, you may count on our lances. That Sanson was one of our own is reason enough. This request comes from both you and my longtime friend, Vorsale himself. Now to the Archer's Guild. Which has a convenient Aetherite Shard. So convenient. Lucien, my old guild master. The time is nigh, then. Very well, we shall make ready to depart at once. When the call came, full many here offered their bows. Though there is not a soul here who knows not of you and Jehentel and Gidelot. Together, let us rescue Sanson. Yay. Uh, oh, back to the adder's nest. Sweet dreams are made of peace. Who am I to disagree? Vossail. There you are, and not a moment too soon. Things have begun to move. Our scouts report that Norval and his band have since returned to the Dwellswood. They have made their lair in the North Shroud, near the shards of Dalamud. Even as we speak, the Order mobilizes a unit for an assault. We must be there ahead of them. Set out at once and make first for Alder Springs. I shall instruct the others to join you there. Ugh, damn it. I was hoping it would be over before that last one, because I had to stop and cough. I will remain here to stall our forces as long as I can. Godspeed! Ugh. 
Okay, rendezvous with Gidelot at Alder Springs. Let's just go to the map. Oh, we're going to Falgard Float. Wow, we're going into territory we haven't seen in quite a while. I'm pretty sure the last time I was here, I was... I was grinding fates for, uh... for weapon parts. Like doing those Atma fates or something. Ah, my mount is faster than yours. Ha ha ha. That's because I am level 70, son. I'm way more important than you now. Uh, how do I get to this place that I'm trying to get to? I'm quite sure I'm going the wrong way. Yes, yes I am. Nope, I can't fly here. It would be nice if you could fly in these old zones. Although, to be honest, I really don't even think about it at all. That I can't fly. It just doesn't occur to me to even try to fly most of the time. <laughs> Here we are. Hey, another bard. All right, Gidelot. Phew, we're ahead of the Twin Otter crew. Twin Otter crew. Let's keep it that way and get right to work. Oh, my God. Phew, we're ahead of the... We're, we're ahead... Ugh. Whatever. Let's just go. <laughs> Our guild friends will take down the sentries and secure the area. We're free to get close to Norval and give him the thrashing he deserves. Duty calls. Let's go. This is actually taking longer than I thought it would. I'm at 26 minutes right now. Ooh, it looks like a trial. Well, well, I was not expecting you two here to deliver the Gridanian's answer, are we? You wish, you craven whore, son. Whatever your demands are, it ain't got nothing to do with us. So you are acting alone? I thought you had some wits. Or do you care that little for your friend? Kill Sanson before you get your answer and all deals are off. Everything you work for up in smoke. Or do you care that little for your goal? Hmm. Hmm, mayhap you have some wits after all, but clever though your ploy may be, have you the strength to back it up? Oh, don't worry on that score. We're gonna knock you around so hard, all the scales will fall from your eyes. And if that ain't enough to make you see clearly, I'll even slap in a song. Something lively to wake you up from your misguided beliefs. Ready? Ready. Arr. Mean face. Oh, I will suffer none to stand in the way of my ambition. Your ambition short, and we're gonna make you see sense even if it means beating you senseless. I'm <laughs> too busy reading the text to to fight anybody. Alright, let's do the staff guy, because he looks like a... He looks like a healer. Let's get rid of the bow guy. And let's get rid of the spear guy, so our friend Gidelot can help us. Alright, take him down, Gidelot. Time to use all my songs upon you. I'll even use my faux requiem upon you. What do you think of that? Hmm, you're strong, but I cannot fall. Not until my goal is realized. Uh, he's got spirit, I'll give him that. Oh, that's... But so do we, and we ain't gonna take it lying down. Time to fire things up in song. With song. Thank you for the song, whatever you did. 
I don't know what song you just did, but thank you. Oh, it's a regeneration song. Cool. Enough with that detestable noise. Oh, I can't move. Break me out of this, Tia. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, wow. That's a lot. I gotta do a lot of DPS to break you out of that. Oh, yeah, you won. You missed. Whoa. Oops. <laughs> he almost hit me a second now. I didn't know it. Repeated. <laughs> Stubborn fools, if you are so eager for death, I will give it to you. What are you doing? Why are you marking me with such things? Seven L spread out or he'll skewer us both. What do you think you're doing, boss mechanics? How about some armies pee on? Whoa, spread out. Oh, I tried. Some more regen. Thank you. <laughs> Earth Crusher. Can I interrupt that? Fully resisted. No, look out, get a lot. Oops. Oh, yeah. Took him down. Sanson, we're here. I'm running. Whoops. Hey, the cavalry's here. Nice try. You going to jail, son? Why? Why do you not understand? Why do you not see the Alamegans for the filth they are? <laughs> Let each spear be thrust for everlasting peace. Let each arrow be loosed for the forest and the trees or something. That song, how do you know it? I just learned it recently, with a spot of help from Jehentel here. He showed me Vain Shalon's grave, which I understand your family's been tending for generations. The song was engraved on the headstone. It's a fine piece, and it ain't hard to see why your ancestor loved it. Taking up arms that we might have peace, so the words go. Words that came from Vain Shalon himself, as a matter of fact. The Autumn War gave birth to a good many anthems, and a good many of them borrowed his words. Take a look, and you'll notice a recurring theme. Peace and harmony. How dare you preach to me of my ancestor? For generations, my family has sought justice for Lord Vangelon. You couldn't possibly comprehend our pain. Not us, perhaps, but I dare say your great-grandsire, Lord Landrinel, could comprehend it better than any man. He witnessed his own sire murdered before his eyes. He knew the painful truth, yet he chose to keep it a secret. Why was this, do you suppose? It, would, it was because he knew that, above all else, his sire desired peace. Hmm? 
Had it been made known that their hero was struck down by treachery, ordinary Grenadians would not have been satisfied with protecting their homes. Nay, they would have demanded justice. They would have demanded blood. The war would have raged on, leaving yet more death and destruction in its wake. And the peace that Lord Vainchalon dreamed of would have gone up in smoke. Knowing this, Lord Landronel. Spare me your lies. Lord Vainchalon desired Alamigo's destruction. You cannot tell me otherwise. Mm, no. Tell me, young man, did it not strike you as odd that I knew of Lord Vainchalon's grave? That which your family has kept secret all these years? The explanation is simple. I had the honor of knowing Lord Landronel. Oh? Huh? Like you, he admired Lord Vangelon and everything he stood for. And what he stood for, first of all, was peace and harmony. If you would honor both their memories, you would do well to honor these ideals. No, th th this cannot be. My ancestors despised Alamegans. I yes, they all did. If not, everything I've labored for, all the blood and tears, have been for naught. Mm. Here comes Sensen to save the day. I ask not that you forgive, but know that neither will we forget. When the time is right, I will see to it that all know of Lord Vainchalon's great sacrifice. This I swear in Nofika's name. Mm-hmm. All agree with nodding of heads. Oh, tears. I ask only that you believe, as your ancestors fervently did, in a brighter future, one of our own shaping, undarkened by shadows of the past. Hooray! We did it, Kidalot. I sent the others back. We can deal with the rest ourselves. Worry not, Tia. I am quite well. Thanks to you and Gidalot, it ended with only a few cuts and bruises. But ere I may rest, I must see to one last task, making good on my promise to Norval. Come, let us return to the Adder's Nest. Alright, this is never gonna end, is it? It's just never gonna end. To the adder's nest. We're here. Hurt. My apologies for keeping you waiting, Commander. I have Gilbardi's journal with me, and I will surrender it on one condition. Once the veracity of the tome's contents is ascertained, the Order must make the truth public knowledge when the time is right. Mm-hmm. Here you go. Thank you. On this we are of a mind, Captain Smith. Not only will I relay your terms to our leaders, I will speak strongly in favor of them. But know that mine is but one voice, and more shall be needed if we are to strengthen our cause. As such, you must rise you must rise through the ranks swiftly to stand with me. S -s stand with you? I fear it will take me a while to retain to attain that honor, to be fooled and taken captive so easily. 
I am still green as summer grass. Tis true that the success of this mission is owed much to Lieutenant Belobo, and you would do well to give her your profuse thanks. However, I suggest that you also give yourself more credit. Credit. You may have much to learn, but you will learn them in good time. This time, you were faced with numerous trials, but did you not accomplish your mission in spite of them? I listen to Versi. We came back with the tome, and no one can say we didn't do our jobs. Look at you. A bit of praise, and you're a stunned marmot. That won't do at all. If you're going to shape up the future of our nation, you're going to have to shape up. Oh, well. You are right, Gilot. From leading our unit to fulfilling my promise to Norval, much rests upon my shoulders. Come what may, I will ever stand tall and forge on. Tia, I must needs go to file my report, but ere I leave, allow me to offer you my heartfelt thanks, not only for your invaluable aid, but for being an example to me. By following your lead, I shall strive to become the best leader I can, that my unit song might one day serve to rouse all Gridania. Yay, good for you. Hi. And off he goes. Good that he's hale and hearty at any rate. I'll stick with Sanson for a while, make sure he don't tear open any stitches. In the meantime, would you go and let Jehentel know we're returned? I'll be along myself soon enough. Well, speaking of the old man, to think that he knew Vangelon's son. You don't get to that age and not rub shoulders with a legend or two, eh? Indeed not. And we have to travel again. Once more. Back to our original mentor, Jahentel. Yeah, I don't know what to do with this episode. I might have to just cap off this episode with the end of this, uh... This here bard quest. Although I'm... I feel like as soon as I get... Go back to the main scenario quest, it's gonna open up a, uh... uh an instance or something. Meow, 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 meow. I see. My thanks for bearing word. Though Sanson and Gidalot may not have endeared themselves to the Twin Adder leadership, they have found a stout ally in Commander Hilo. I must say, it truly stirs the spirit to see the younger generation blaze a new path. And I pray that Norval, too, will find his own path to walk, one that is paved not with hatred, but with hope, that leads to peace both in the world and in his heart. Tis what his ancestors would have wished. I, I remember that outfit. I remember being that level, having that, having that disco outfit. <laughs> In him I see them, and it calls to mind my days spent learning bow and song under his great-grandsire, a kindly old man who tirelessly tended his father's grave, never forgetting the ideals he stood for. Somewhere along Lord Vinchelon's line, those ideals had faded away. But thanks to you and yours, they may yet be restored, and made bolder still by a true remembrance of the past. And the world shall be better, shall be a better place for it. Sweet dreams are made of peace. Complete. Storyteller's attire coffer. A banded chest containing a complete set of storyteller's attire and an antiquated fail knot. So we and a new skill. Yes! The fervent desire to aid your comrades awakens a new song within your soul or something like that. I've earned the achievement Bard's Tale 3! Yippee! Alright, before I do anything else, it is imperative that I open this thing and put on this gear. Oh, Valerian Archer's Hat. Where did that come from? That came from a dungeon, I think.
Wait, I gotta see what that looks like first. Oh, sweet! Another cowboy hat. I think I got something else around here somewhere. Armbands of something. There we go. Oh, there's... Okay, there's my complete set of that. Alright, let's open up the storyteller's attire. Unable to use it outside large settlements? What? That's weird. Well, let's go back to New Gradania then. If that's how you're gonna be about it. Oh, that hat doesn't match the color. It's the wrong color. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Alright, before I do anything, we have to do this right. We have to put our bandana back on. We have to put that back on and take a screenshot. Got to take a screenshot. In front of the flowers, I guess. Good enough. Oh, let's do offset a little bit. Which side? That side or that side? That side. Ready, set, screenshot. All right, now we can put on a new gear. Use the attire. Boom, look at all this gear we got. Antiquated Storyteller's Chapeau. Oh, yeah, this is all good gear, too. Item level 290. Equip. Equip. Oh, no! Insufficient armory space! No! Antiquated fail not bow. Insufficient armory space. Oh, my God, my armory's full already. What nonsense is this? Boots. What's Amon's boots? Yeah, I got that from my retainer. Definitely don't think I need that anymore. And the antiquated storyteller's coat. Boom. Boom shakalaka. The new gear. New bard gear. Eh, eh, I don't know. I don't know about this. Not crazy about it. Oh, crap. Really? Why do you have to do that move? Why do you have to do that? Looks like you're going to a wedding. <laughs> kind of. All right, ready, set, screenshot. All right, there's our new bard gear. And, uh, what do I do, what do I do? All right, I'm going to stop this episode here. And I'm gonna stop this episode here and pick it up next time with the rest of the main scenario quest. So I will see you then.